السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We will continue Surah Al-Baqarah Tafsir with a newer approach to understand Quran Tafsir by a group of verses categorized in themes. Today we will continue this series from verses 6 through 16 of Surah Al-Baqarah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. With some disbelievers and hypocrites, Allah seals the heart in the state of disbelief because Allah knows that this heart will not soften and accept Iman. For other hearts, the state of disbelief or even hypocrisy is not final. Allah warns them, but there is still hope and time for these hearts to change. We see in these two verses, 6 and 7, that Allah has set a seal on their sense faculties of the heart, the hearing and vision because their choice was final. Any amount of warning or even time would not help. Once the heart is sealed, even seeing the messenger or miracles would not have any impact. The hearing of the Quran will not have an effect. So their hearts are already in final disbelief, so Allah locked it. May Allah soften our hearts so we can respond to the Quran deeply and with emotion. Ameen. Tafsir al-Jalalain states that these two verses are referring to the disbelievers such as Abu Jahal and Abu Lahab whose enmity towards our Prophet wasallam, would not have stopped. Now let's review the verses on hypocrites who are difficult to detect since they say they are believers. We will observe in all of these verses two themes. First, we see how habitual hypocrisy seals the heart. And secondly, we see how the claim of the hypocrites would reflect back on themselves, but with a worsened effect. So if you have faith, Allah strengthens and increases your faith. So faith is interacting with Allah to be increased. The same goes in the opposite direction. The hypocrite is saying, we believe to the Muslims in order to deceive them. But Allah negates. They are not believers. And when Allah declares it, the state becomes final. In verse 9, they, they think they are winning as they deceived the Muslims. But in reality, their duplicity harmed themselves while they didn't even realize it. For example, Someone may feel good that he got a thousand dollars through some deception, but he's not aware that this cheated money will carry forward to his hereafter. And even in this world, he may get caught or he may feel burdened by the guilt of it all. So the effect of the deception had a worsening effect. In verse 10, Allah says, their hearts harbor the disease of habitual hypocrisy and the resulting effect has sealed the heart. The hypocrites say the Muslims are foolish to go against the majority of the mushrikeen or the polytheists of Mecca. They think they're being wise by having two faces in their own self-interest. The outward side supports the Muslims while they secretly plot so the opposite party would win. In all of these verses, we notice that Allah contradicts their statement using the same words. Unquestionably, they are deceiving. They are the corruptors and they are being foolish as they are totally unaware that Allah knows their hidden agendas. So all their deeds reflect back on themselves, but only with the worsened effect. We observe that verse 14 makes a connection back with verse 8 in a ring pattern in restating that the hypocrites claim Iman when they are with the believers. But when they are among each other, they say, we were just mocking, forgetting that Allah is all hearing and all aware. In verse 14, they mock believers and in reciprocation, Allah mocks them in verse 15 because they are the losers without even realizing it. So here the theme we observe is that the punishment is equivalent to the crime. 
Ibn Kathir in his tafsir explains that the first act is an act of injustice by the hypocrites, while the second act of response from Allah is an act of justice by Allah. We also see in verse 15 that Allah prolongs their state of hypocrisy, meaning Allah allows them to keep going where they feel a sense of winning until the time will be suddenly up. So the same theme continues. They thought they're ahead by deceiving others, but in the end, they got deceived. In verse 16, Allah says, it is as if they purchased misguidance because they did all of these deception and plotting for some small material gain of this world. In exchange, they gave up the guidance that was coming to them from the Quran. Please check out my book on Amazon where I explore the verse connections of Surah Al-Baqarah and Al-Imran as shown here. If you have benefited from this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and keep watching this series. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.